the Buddha recommends spreading thoughts of goodwill every day. It helps to remind yourself why you're here practicing. You want happiness that spreads around. Because most pleasures in the world are consumed, and when they're consumed, they, it's just the consumer who gets them and nobody else. But the happiness that comes from generosity, the happiness that comes from virtue, comes from meditation. That spreads around. You can consume that happiness, and there's plenty left over for other people, too. This is one of the few areas where your well-being doesn't conflict with somebody else's. They talk about interconnectedness a lot. Well, interconnectedness is inner eating. Inner being is inner eating. We have to take things from the world in order to survive, otherwise we die. It's just built into the fact that we've got this body. And on top of that, then the mind has all these desires that we're feeding on as well. And the Buddha said, that's suffering. So we're going to find a happiness that doesn't require feeding. And even though we can feed a little bit off of generosity, feed off of virtue, feed off of meditation, it's good feeding. It helps wean us away from the other ways we have of looking for happiness and feeding off the world. Because as I said, the happiness spreads around. When you're generous, you benefit, but the people who benefit from, from your generosity, they, they gain as well. When you're virtuous, you're giving yourself safety and you're giving safety to other beings. When you meditate, you're giving them even greater safety. You're trying to get your greed, aversion, and delusion in line, under control, so they don't go prowling around the neighborhood. That way other people are less likely to suffer from your greed, aversion, and delusion. So there you are, happiness that spreads itself around. It's the best kind of happiness there is. In most cases, this pursuit of happiness is a hedonistic thing, but this is not. This is actually a process that gives rise to noble qualities in the mind. So remind yourself of that every day as you spread thoughts of goodwill. That the only way to be sincere in spreading goodwill is if you really practice. Because otherwise, otherwise you spread goodwill and then you turn around and you feed off of somebody. But you're spreading goodwill and then you learn how to feed inside. And everybody benefits. So this is goodwill without hypocrisy, this is goodwill without any conflict. That's the best kind of happiness there is.